Oh yes, man. Absolutely hell to the yes. Of course, assuming this actually goes the way that we think it could, today we are going over some fantastic Montreal Canadiens news. And no, it doesn't directly involve the Habs, nor does it really involve Montreal at all. This, instead, is alluding to top prospect Ivan Demidov and his presence on SKA St. Petersburg in the KHL this upcoming year. Now, we already made a video or two talking about how the addition to SKA St. Petersburg of one former NHLer, where is he, uh, right here, Evgeny Kuznetsov, is super important to the Montreal Canadiens' development of Ivan Demidov. We had already said, hey, if you've got Kuznetsov and Demidov playing on the same line, that's going to really give Demidov an NHL-caliber playmaker alongside of him, and it could do some very good things for his offensive development. I didn't really bring up the idea, talking about how Kuznetsov could maybe take away a spot from a guy like Demidov, and there was an entire panic that you could say is reasonable to have in that respect. But with the SKA St. Petersburg team confirming pretty much to Montreal management that they do plan to use Demidov, they do plan to give him a role, and if not, the Canadians have the opportunity to buy out Demidov's SKA commitment and bring him over to North America. We now have ourselves yet another piece of SKA St. Petersburg rumors, and I say rumors because this hasn't really been confirmed yet, but it was talked about a few days ago. It is coming to us here via Hockey News Hub on Twitter. Now, Hockey News Hub has had a lot of tweets in the past about KHL news, KHL insider information. They're a user with pretty legit connections, if you go by their track record, and they went out there and tweeted this the other day, talking about how they're hearing that defenseman Tony D'Angelo is set to joining SKA St. Petersburg in the KHL. Nothing is concrete just yet. Now, before we dive into any of the other things over here, let's just say it right off the bat, Tony D'Angelo going over to Russia? Okay, I don't really know if it's all too surprising. Like, if anybody has been paying attention to the Tony D'Angelo story, his entire reputation that he has upheld in the NHL. While sure, it is true that at D'Angelo's best, he is a very good, very offensively potent, offensively minded defenseman. He's got so many issues when it comes to work ethic, engagement, leadership, attitude that have plagued his career ever since he was a draft-eligible prospect. I mean, it's not every day you see a player actually get disciplined in the OHL for calling somebody a racial slur. It's even fewer days in the year that you see somebody calling a racial slur to his own teammate. Tony D'Angelo definitely has a very strange reputation, and when it comes to his KHL debut, him leaving the NHL, not signing with any of these teams despite being a good point producer and heading over to Russia, I don't want to say it's like the most predictable thing in the world, but it is kinda, you know, predictable. Either way, Hockey News Hub went out there and tweeted this, that Tony D'Angelo is apparently set to joining SKA St. Petersburg in the KHL. We'll be all over this. Could be, could not be, but this is another shocker out of Russia. I'm not even sure if SKA could afford him unless they free up a player or two, or contract restructuring like Arseny Gritsuk did. With Kuznetsov signing, they gotta be running out of money, and teams have to be cap compliant every day. And so with this in mind, with Tony D'Angelo potentially being a big addition here for the SKA St. Petersburg club, not only is SKA St. Petersburg legitimately loading up on top-tier NHL centers, but they're also getting top-tier NHL offensive point producers. Alexander Nikishin was a top guy on the team in points last year as a defenseman. He's a Colorado, excuse me, not Colorado, Carolina Hurricanes prospect, left-handed defenseman, and now, with his stock being so high up there, it seems like he'll get a taste of playing with a top right-handed defenseman in Tony D'Angelo, and if these guys are able to do their magic together, who knows how many points either of these two will be able to score with SKA. 
add on Ivan Demidov in a full-time role, add on Evgeny Kuznetsov, and you have yourselves maybe a power play that, if everything works out, looks like Nikishin, D'Angelo, Demidov, Kuznetsov, and then, I don't know, somebody else here. Uh, Zakhar Bartikov was a prospect that I think a lot of people were super intrigued by in the Colorado system. There are a lot of names, actually, that you could toss around there on the top unit. But of course, you know, this is all going to depend on whether or not SKA St. Petersburg actually commits to using Ivan Demidov in the ways that Montreal Canadiens fans and management have been wanting to see him be used. It was never going to be Gary guaranteed that he would get that spot. It was never going to be guaranteed that he would even make the team. Because, you know, I mean, it's commonplace for these KHL organizations to not really prioritize the development of younger guys, especially when they're so adamant that, hey, my main goal is to make the NHL. I'm going to be here. I'm going to play in Russia, but then I'll go over to North America. It's always been some sort of a backhanded underlying idea that KHL teams will punish prospects for wanting to leave their organizations by not giving them any ice time, but for Ivan Demidov, I mean, SKA St. Petersburg probably has a lot to gain by giving Demidov significant minutes. I mean, he's such a good point producer, arguably the best junior Russian player we have seen in like two decades, double point per game guy in the MHL last season. So SKA St. Petersburg would be doing themselves a disservice by not giving Demidov the playing time he deserves. But of course, you know, we had seen this happen literally just last year with Matvey Mishkov, who was also an SKA dude and was not given any minutes with them, and as a result was loaned over to another KHL club. Now, Demidov does not have the opportunity to do that because his contract in the KHL is on his last year, so it's either the SKA team or nothing because the Canadians are going to step in and buy him out if it is that nothing. Demidov, however, playing with Kuznetsov, playing with D'Angelo, will give him two NHL-caliber teammates on his side, and I think that could serve very well in terms of developing his role for 2025-2026 when he inevitably comes over to the Montreal Canadiens. Now, just as a little aside, a little extra, extra content here, let's go out there and read some of the replies to Tony D'Angelo and the rumors that he is going to SKA St. Petersburg because this was tweeted and posted onto the R Hockey subreddit. The first comment says, yeah, that tracks. It really does. SKA has become a home for X and future Hurricanes this offseason. They are really trying to make their last season with Nikishin as long as they possibly can. Demidov, nah, bro. Yeah, so everybody's kind of talking about the development here, and I guess for guys like Nikishin and Demidov, getting great acquisitions like these will certainly help out their cases. Tony is about to learn about a whole new host of ethnicities he never knew about that you can yell slurs at. Yeah, okay, that's, um, okay. I'm surprised the Oilers didn't sign him. Least surprising off-season signing. I don't know, a dude named Tony D'Angelo thinking Russia sounds like a good place to live right now seems at least a little bit surprising. I find it really amusing how little self-awareness he has. The way he and his family seem convinced that it's some vast conspiracy against their politics that caused problems for him. The truth is, his political and social views are not particularly unique in hockey. He's apparently just a tool whom his teammates cannot stand. And, I mean, look, a lot of these comments kind of go out there and hammer down the sentiment as to what Tony D'Angelo is, you know. As we have said in the past, people are free to believe in whatever they believe in and talk about whatever they want to talk about. But that does not discriminate against being just an a-hole. And Tony D'Angelo, from the fights with the teammates to all the other stuff, he just happens to also be an a-hole. At least, that's what it looks like. I don't know the guy personally, but from everything we have seen in different situations, I think it's pretty fair to use that word. I don't know if anyone's going to get ticked off at me for saying that, but either way, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this great piece of Canadian's news, how Tony D'Angelo is apparently heading over to SKA. I hope you enjoyed this Vrishashro 9 and bye.